Hey guys, I'm Rose of and welcome back to another Bioshock. So in the last two parts, you guys may have not noticed it. Uh, if you guys did, then great. But as I mentioned in the last, or the, the two parts ago, I said that that was streaming. I was streaming it, and I was recording it at that moment in time. But anyways, I, I was just doing that just to, just to test it out. Uh, but do note that those are going to be part of the session, uh, because that's me continuing the let's play a little bit here and there um i am in a different area different place from the last part because i was recording and i realized my microphone was not connected to the thing i was basically doing the thing and i was thinking that we need to kill a big daddy just to get uh to get some certain things here where are you going big daddy where are you no no <laughs> all right there we go yeah, we need to kill a bunch of them to get a few things. Damn it. Christ. I lost a freaking uh, one of the things. How do you get in here again? I remember seeing this in the during the stream. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to do the stream. I was streaming on the Twitch platform and the, uh, the, the Twitch platform. I was streaming on Twitch. I was streaming on... What else? YouTube. This channel right here on this channel. And I was streaming on uh, Twitch, and, and I was streaming on Beam that Pro. If you don't know what Beam Pro is, it's one of those uprising streaming websites. It, it's pretty new. Like, I mean, it was kind of hiding under the shadows, but I just choose not to do anything with it because I was like, is it important to have it or not, and so and so forth. And I was kind of like curious if I should. Oh, there's another one? Oh, that was fast. Oh, God. Oh! Ho, ho! Almost died there. Damn, this guy just died quickly. Alright, one more. I didn't know there was a second one up here, too. <laughs> Things got burned here. Everything got burned here. <laughs> Alright, let's get over to the other side here. All right, we can aim. Cool. But anyways, yeah, uh, I I wanted to stream to test things out and stuff. Oh, there goes that guy. A steel tip. Let me get a one extra tip via Ian. All right, cool. All right, there should be one more big daddy around here. Oh, there he is. I hear him. A trap bolt. No, an incinerator bolt. Is he up there? Oh, yes. Oh, God. He's coming! Oh! Oh, God. Got him again. Oh, whoa, I missed. He missed that. Got him. Julio. Alright, let me get back to the steel tip. Alright, I haven't been using these weapons because I've been kind of like holding back on it somehow. Somewhat. Uh, let me go and get the Eve drop in my hands here. Alright, let me go and uh, bring out my wrench again. But I, I preferably. I prefer my wrench because. Money, buddy! But yeah, basically I prefer my uh, wrench because it's like the easiest thing and I don't waste ammo 100% of the time and then it wastes all my money. I'd rather use that money wisely and spend it on good stuff, I guess. Like, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what I use my money for besides health and all that. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got it. Does it look like it's a real bomb? It better. You got to put it on the core, past geothermal control. And we'll see if these needle noses knew what the hell they were talking about. Alright, time to kill him. Hey, guy! Oh, he died already. Oh! Come on, bastard! Dead you go. Alright. Anyways, we're good here. But yeah, I mean, I wanted to stream to test things out. I didn't really think the streaming was the, the greatest thing for me. Um, but I wanted to test things out so that when I want to start a new series, especially on a stream, then I would do it. Uh, so I'm planning on doing a new series on the stream or during a stream, but 
I'm pretty sure by this time you'll probably not see it or see this see me saying that. Oh, how do you get in there? I forgot how. There's got to be a ventilation or something in there. There's got to be a vent because I see like a bunch of things here, but then I'm like, there's no doorway. It looks like it, it might be from a ventilation somewhere around this area, and I can't really go under the staircases because there's nothing here. Oh, hi. Hey, dude. Stop it. Idiot. Freaking, I'm right here. Alright, let's get going. We don't want to waste time anyways. Um, but yeah, I was kind of like going into... Because the reason why I... I... Come on, dude. Stop running. The reason why I wanted to... Uh... Start a new series as well is because... Oh, crap. That thing's dead already. My turn's dead. No! You were so young! Why? You were so young to me. Alright. Oh, there goes that guy. Sure. Yep. I don't even get any of his item because I did that. <laughs> That's what I hate about the freezing one. The freezing one gets rid of your items that you need to get. So now there's going to be a bunch of guys because of the fact that... Uh, because of the fact that I am going to destroy the core and so they send out a bunch of like these splicers just to block my way from it all right well here we are hi this happened right after the start of the war read about it in the papers head on in I'll see what I can dig up to help all right anyways uh but yeah overall I am basically doing this off the stream right now. This is just finishing off the stream, and I wanted to do the session off my own because I, uh, I, I was hearing myself for some reason. Like I don't know, like Elgato's like software thing was like making me hear myself. And I want to use OBS, but I'm no engineer, but if I read these plans right, you can channel that magma flow using the redirect valve. It'll boil off that water right quick, and you'll be able to reach the core. But Ryan's sure to take notice. I want to set up a perimeter just to be certain. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. So they're telling me to set up traps in case of, uh... Let me see how this trap vault works. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad. Oh, I see, I see. So it randomly shoots out at places. I like that, but I hate that at the same time. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, what the hell? I was like, why am I getting shocked? Okay, there we go. Uh, right there, I guess. Oh, God. It's like, oh, God. This is the worst to do. Oh, my God. That's worse. <laughs> Alright, let me shoot it from here, I guess. It'll come out shooting. So it shoots wherever I shot it at. Kind of. So these are the things that technically blocks me every time. So I gotta be careful for whatever I do. Alright, there we go. Uh, oh god, this is coming in close too. Cutting it close for me. Oh god. Alright. I'm not gonna get up either way. So I'm just gonna... Leave this be, I guess. Alright, let's go. Let's start. Will these creatures kill you? Even I don't know. As you drag me closer to the abyss, you pull yourself right along with me. I offer you a quick death, perhaps. It will be preferable to what you will learn if you win. Alright. But at the same time, I'm like paying attention. I'm playing close attention to this craft going in. We're almost there. <laughs> and I, I set up the trap bolts just just for sure for that. And we are done. Cool. Is there blood in the streets? Of course. Have some chosen to destroy themselves with careless splicing? Undeniable. But I will make no proclamations. I will dictate no laws. Are they all dead? Hope so. 
Best be heading on to the core. All right. I can't really get rid of it now because they're just sitting there now. Ooh, there's some good stuff there. Didn't realize there was more stuff in that. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I almost killed myself over there. Oh, oh whatever. Screw it. Screw that. There was one with a heart, I believe. There we go. Got the heart. Alright, so we can go down the elevator. Okay. Let's go down the elevator, shall we? Mess that up by putting it like that. Proximity mine. Whatever. Alright, so anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna do more streams every Saturday. I, I, I didn't get to put it into the part. I didn't say that in the part thing. Um, but yes, I'm gonna be streaming every Saturday morning, I believe, on PST, Pacific Standard Time. Um, only for two to three hours. I'm not gonna stream the whole day. That's what I originally did. Two, two, I always do like this whole six hour, eight hour streams. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. But for some reason, you like it here. You feel something you can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second. And maybe the word will come to you. Nostalgia. Freaking Andrew Ryan. How do you know my family? What do you do to my family? I think he did something to my family. I believe it is. What did Atlas offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Mark my words. Your only reward will be a knife in the back. Yes, I agree to that. Because I already know how it's going to end. Oh god, it's- Oh no, why am I in here? No! It's a big daddy bomb, I know that! It's a- it's a- it's a big- big bomb, like a nuclear bomb, almost. Right? No, it's not. Oh, this way? Oh crap, I didn't know this is- Alright. Gonna get out of here. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna head over to you, anyways. Move, you ass! Oh, this guy's blocking my ass. Why? Why are you blocking me? God damn it! There we go. You dick. I'm wasting my time. Oh god. There we go. Ah, god damn it. Is it open? No, it's not. In the end, all that matters to me is oh, there we go. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Oh my god. That was intense. That was intense. <laughs> Raptors controls central control. Okay, so we're we're almost there. We're almost done. We're almost I, I didn't realize we were close to the end of the game right there and then. Because I was just scrooging around. I was like looking around, exploring the area, and then there isn't enough to exp there wasn't a lot to explore after you've uh, got all the things. Especially with the power of the people is what I'm looking forward to all the time. So Yeah. Go to Andrew Ryan's office. This guy tried to kill him or something. I'm scared. Even in the book of lies, sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this, you are my greatest disappointment. Okay. Does your master hear me? Atlas, you can kill me. But you will never have my city! My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy! Wait, what's going on? Oh, it's outside, I see. my child. There is one final thing to discuss. What? Ryan's 
of the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk for the whole joint blows. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Well, before we do, well, there's no timer, obviously, so I'm not really in a rush, really. <laughs> Nothing there. Well, yeah, I'm not in a rush, like, whatever. Oh, I spent freaking money on the freaking first aid kit when I see one. <laughs> you invent again. Not much there. Why do I hear, like, footsteps walking? All right, let me get the Vita Chamber thing. Industries, stage one, each complete. Sinclair and Alexander tried to explain the science to me, but the Sujong does not believe them. <laughs> they keep saying plasmid reconstruction this and quantum entanglement that, and then poof, dead people come back to life. Bullshit! <laughs> of course, Ryan will only allow it to be tuned to his genetic frequencies for the testing. Okay. Um, but basically, I like how there was a Su Chong. <laughs> Su Chong is the guy who's like delivering on the vi Vita Chamber and all that. It's ridiculous. Alright, anyways, yeah, we're near the end of the game basically. And I'm only going up here because I want to see what's up here. Because I do want to explore whatever's last over here. Because I might not be able to come back here anyway, so. Let's see what's up here. Is it up here that we have to go to? Yeah. Apparently so. Alright, let's go. Down, come on, crouch. Alright. Whoa! Would you be kindly? Advanced deployment, lot 111, Dr. Su Chong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old, weighs 58 pounds, and possesses gross musculature of a fit 19 year old. The results are disappointing, but within expected tolerances. Huh. I see that some of them are actually people who are... Like, Ryan killed Jasmine Jolene because she was pregnant with his baby. Fontaine, I don't know how he died. I forgot how he died, actually. Ten Bomb is still alive. Su Chong, I don't know if he's dead or alive either, but... What? Break that sweet puppy's neck. No, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kindly? No. No. Pretty good. What the hell? So, would you kindly is basically the. No, wait. No, I know what. I, I know what what this word is coming from. This word is actually from Atlas. Atlas is the one who is Su Chong, I think. I think that is. I'm not sure, but I feel like Su Chong is somebody, and he's still alive, because we don't know how he dies. But we know he's corrupted. Su Chong is Miss basically Sassy corrupted. ...has overcome my final defense. And now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. I you agree. think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash, or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man, something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill, or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. I think he now realizes that uh, 
I think Andrew already knew that we were controlled, mind controlled by Atlas, because Atlas is the one behind all this. And yet we choose to obey. Stop, would you kindly? Oh. Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. <clears throat> Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch. I see it. Would you kindly stand? And I feel that little boy was Would me actually kindly. in that in actuality. Run! Stop! A man chooses. A slave obeys. Oh no! A man chooses. A slave obeys. A slave obeys. Uh. Hurry now! Grab Ryan's genetic key! Now would you kindly put it in that goddamn machine? Oh no. I know what's gonna happen. Is it why <laughs> he he did say would you kindly put that genetic key into into the machine? Alright, well, this will stop the self-destruction, but doesn't mean it will stop Atlas from destroying us. Nice work, by all. <laughs> Knew it. It's not even Atlas anymore. Oh no, the, 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 the audio wasn't even caught up yet. Yeah, it was. Oh, he's Fontaine? What? I gotta say, I had a lot of business partners in my life, but you, of course, the fact that you were genetically conditioned to bark like a cocker spaniel when I said, would you kindly, might have had something to do with it, but still. Now, as soon as that machine finishes processing the genetic key you just fished off, You dick! Now, yeah, this area's gonna get. Where to? Where to? Come on, where? All right, but where to? All right, all right, all right. Oh, the no. all right. Following. Oh, no! Why? I can't even jump in that position. I was like stuck there. Olympus Heights. All right. But anyways, yeah, I already knew Atlas was evil, but then I didn't- I forgot how or what it was. Now that I'm replaying it, I now know what it was. So it was Fontaine. Fontaine didn't die. I thought Fontaine was dead somehow, but he wasn't. 
But he's not dead. He was not dead. I was so surprised. I forgot that he was not dead. I didn't hear the audio mixtapes, whatever it is. And then also, same for that Asian dude. I forgot what's his name already. It was Cho Young or something. I forgot. Welcome back, child. Welcome to the city where you were born. Oh, so yeah. See, this is what I meant. You are angry at Fontaine, yes? Now you know the truth. You are his tool. Brought back to Rapture to save him. Oh... So I was outside. You have saved many of my little ones. I owe you a debt. While you sleep, I undo some of Fontaine's mental conditioning. His control is no longer complete, but he can still pull some very unpleasant strings. I feel like this lady could be Elizabeth from. We made your mind with many locks and keys. Fontaine has most of those keys. But not all. Su Chan designed your mind, taught Fontaine to control you. Mm. You might find answers in Su Chang's flat in Mercury Suites. So Su Chang is dead already. Because the way she's saying that is that Su Chang actually didn't make it out. But he did develop me, or the character that I'm controlling. And uh, Fontaine took advantage of it by disguising himself as Atlas and Su Chang, basically. He's trying to take control of me as a person. And then I grew up, I escaped Rapture, came back because uh, of effing Fontaine doing a like long business kind of thing, and then he kind of forced us back in here. So that's basically the gist of it, I guess. Um, but wow, a lot has happened, to be honest. Um, and it does affect the story, of course, if I saved all the little girls. If I didn't save all the little girls, I think they would take advantage and kill me instead when I finish... Uh, when I finish off this duty of mine, which is to kill off uh, Fontaine. But at the same time, another big Easter egg or big hint behind this lady is that she is most likely Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite from Burial at Sea. Uh, do note that I did not finish Burial at Sea. I never even started Burial at Sea, but I did finish Bioshock Infinite, so I do know Elizabeth quite a little bit. Um, at the same time, the hints kind of shows that she's wearing black hair, she's smoking a cigarette, basically, because Elizabeth in the Burial at Sea also does smoke, but we don't get to see a finger of hers, like, I don't know if we can see a f her finger, can we? Like, it's very hard to see it, but, because I don't have, I'm not playing on PC and it's not 100% texture quality that is great, but, wow, this is amazing, there's a lot of, like, things that are all connected, and I mean, I like how... Uh, Irrational Games was will was able to put all of this together into a trilogy kind of thing. Anyways, I'll end it here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this will be one part, and then in the next part, we'll continue and search for the last two little sisters in this area, it seems like, and also try to get more stuff, get powerful, and hopefully end the game in this session, hopefully. If not this session, then the next one, which will probably be like 30 minutes long or something, or... Maybe some other time. I don't even know. But other than that, thank you guys for watching again. Hope to see you guys in the next part of another video. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, and night, or whenever you're watching this. Description box down below for more information about the videos and the channel itself. Annotations click if you guys want to check out more content on the channel as well. And most likely, hope to see you guys in the next part of another video. And hope you guys have a great day. Anyways, Roz, out.